Open Heavens on the Go, Friday, November 5th, 2021. Topic, Jehovah Jireh. Memory verse, Genesis twenty two fourteen, 14. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh, as it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord, it shall be seen. Bible reading, 1 Kings 17, 12 to 16. And she said, As the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake, but an handful of meal in a barrel, and a little oil in a cruise. And behold, I am gathering two sticks, that I may go in and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat it and die. And Elijah said unto her, Fear not, go and do as thou hast said, but make me thereof a little cake first, and bring it unto me, and after make for thee and for thy son. For thus saith the Lord God of Israel, The barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the cruse of oil fail, until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. And she went and did according to the saying of Elijah. And she and he and her house did eat many days. And the barrel of meal wasted not, neither did the cruise of oil fail, according to the word of the Lord, which he spake by Elijah. The message. The name Jehovah Jireh means the Lord will provide. This means God's provision is guaranteed. David described this truth in Psalm 23, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. My prayer is that this will be your experience too, in Jesus' name. Our God is more than able to meet all our needs. Even today, the Lord will miraculously meet those needs that may be about to put you to shame in Jesus' name. David had multiple experiences of God's provision and they reflected, they reflect in his numerous Psalms. For example, he describes the Lord God as a very present help in trouble. Psalm 46 verse 1. God is always on time. If the present help in trouble had not shown up on time for the widow of Zarephath, as seen in our Bible text today, the story would have been like that of the woman who killed her child for food in 2 Kings 6, 25-29. However, for Jehovah Jireh to come to your aid, you need to have the same spiritual conviction exhibited by the widow. One of her virtues is that she believed in the God of prophet Elijah. She knew that the God Elijah served is alive. She knew what he could do. She trusted in him completely and was thus able to obey Elijah's instructions. Her obedience led to her receiving the blessing of multiplication. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles 20, 20, Believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. Believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. Beloved, if we believe in this great provider, it will show in how we live our lives. We will not doubt his promises and so would respond in faith to his directives. We will not be cutting corners in order to achieve things in life because the Bible says, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Romans 10, 11. The God who provided for Abraham shall always be there for us. The widow in our story today was a woman of faith who believed in the God of Israel. She demonstrated this clearly through her respect for the man of God. Do you hold God in high esteem? If you do, 
It will show in how you treat your pastor and the words of his mouth. May Jehovah Jireh be there for you always in Jesus' name. Prayer point. Father, you are the only one who can provide for all my needs. Please send help to me today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you are the only one who can provide for all my needs. Please send help to me today in the mighty name of Jesus. Bible reading in one year, Isaiah 1-6. to Him for today, in Christ alone. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.